Hello, my name is Stuart Long. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering here at the University of Houston. I do research in an area called applied electromagnetics. And electromagnetics means things that deal with electric and magnetic fields. And we mainly see those in your regular life when you think of anything that's uh, to do with wireless communications, like your cell phone. Uh, that's the kind of research that we do. Uh, so for today, what I thought I would try to show you is a little illustration of how you can see the effects of these electric fields that are used normally in wireless communications. And to do that, I will demonstrate it with this machine, which is called a Tesla coil. It was invented by a man named Nicholas Tesla uh, back in the early 1900s. And no, he didn't invent the Tesla car, but the Tesla car is named after him uh, as a a tribute to his work that he did in early days with electricity and magnetism. So this Tesla coil will allow us to generate very high electric fields, which can actually break down the molecules in the air. That's the same phenomenon that you might see uh, in nature when you see a lightning bolt. The lightning bolt is the, the same effect where the, the air molecules are being broken down. So we'll, I'll just do a little quick demo here and then we'll talk a little more about it. So we're gonna generate a very large field here and this is just another conducting material that allow the electrons to come back down. So there'll be a little noise uh, and then we'll see, hopefully we'll be able to see uh, the sparks coming from here. So the sparks you see are the breakdown of the air uh, so we can see it going from the rod, from the machine to the rod. I can do it as well uh, by putting a little nail here and just uh, concentrating it all out in one direction. So the, this uh, presently we see a lot of communications that are done wirelessly. But one thing that we have not been able to do, but that perhaps in the future, is to be able to power things uh, remotely through wireless transmission of these electromagnetic waves. So what I'd like to show you next, I have just an ordinary light bulb. Well, it's not a new LED one, but it's one of the uh, uh, complex fluorescent ones. And I will show you, uh, hopefully we'll be able to see that we can light this light up just by getting it close to this Tesla coil. So the light is able to get the, the power from the, the machine straight to through the air, through the bulb, and you can see it light up. So perhaps one day in the future, we'll be able to power all of our things in our house, not with wires coming in from the outside, but from the air, perhaps from, uh, from a satellite or something. But anyway, thank you for uh, tuning in today to the electromagnetics demonstration. Thank you.